Is is the music gonna be playing outside the whole time? I hope so, dude. Oh, Apparently, fuck. you can't hear it in any of the megaphones. Okay. Yeah, I don't know they Shit. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go. All, all right, right, cool. Welcome to our Studio Six live session here at CJSF. Um, we're here with Sleepy Gonzalez. Could you guys introduce your band? Sure. Um, we're Sleepy Gonzalez. I'm Christian. I play guitar mostly, but also piano and sing. I'm Allie, and I mostly sing, but I play some geet and some keys. I don't have a mic. Can you still hear me? Just yell. This is Nick over here. He plays the bass. I'm Benny, and I play the drums. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you guys. Um, so tell us about the first song you're going to play. Oh, the first song we're going to play, Allie's going to play it by herself. Um, we made uh, we made an EP over the summer, and uh, we're just going to play it in order um, live for the first time here in the studio. And it starts with a song called Abandoned Amusement Park. Um, it's just basically about, like... Uh, just like growing up with like really like like wild dreams and then realizing like most of them probably won't come true and trying to be okay with that i guess cool let's give it a shot ready <laughs>
much closer than they were before. Now the bullets are poking holes through my cellar door. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. We're this is Sleepy Gonzalez here live at Studio 6. And um, I have a question for you guys. So you guys recently competed at Shindig. Yeah, we, we did recently compete at Shindig. Yeah, Second place. Cool, cool. Second place. Um, but fuck, competition's really weird in music because like that's one of the reasons that I'm in a band is because like I hated sports in high school and I didn't like competition because it just takes all the fun out of everything. But um, people are like grinding in the Vancouver music scene and sometimes you kind of just have to join competitions and battles of the bands and stuff like that to try to get paid or try to, to like, you know, get something out of it. Um, so like it was fun to meet all the other bands basically we're not like super competitive or anything um, it was cool to win some stuff I think we won this performance so like we got this chance so that was cool nah what didn't we we didn't I don't think it was this yeah one. it was really? yeah we won some Ricky posters. told us we got some yep. studio time. We got studio time and a bunch of other stuff, which was cool because we had to play three shows for free. So I don't know. That's kind of whack that they're making bands <laughs> play for free. Like they took door money and people would just show up like to go to the bar. And they were like, what? We have to pay $15 to get in because of some battle of the bands. I don't know. It's kind of whack, but at least we won something. Well, you guys have played other shows in the area as well, right? Yeah, a um, lot. Can you tell us a bit about your experience in Vancouver's independent music scene? Um, our experience is basically, we just try to have fun. We just try to have a good time. Like, uh, there's cool things about it. Meeting other bands is usually the coolest thing. Meeting other artists. Um, there's other not cool things about it. Like sometimes you like make $30 at a show or maybe sometimes nothing. Other times when 
you know, you're releasing a project or something, or you can put together like a really cool show. Um, it's not really about the money. It's it's fun to it's fun to have grown in the scene and like actually like accumulated like a small fan base like pretty organically um and see like the same people come out over and over again it's kind of shocking actually like some people have come out like dozens of times and it's like why are you why are you you've seen us play so many times but i guess we're doing something right cool um have you guys played anywhere outside of vancouver um we played milk crate records in Kelowna. we're actually going back this weekend to Kelowna and play penticton and maybe plan a tour this fall down like the west coast towards california but like we're pretty new to it so um a lot of cool things have been happening this year a lot of a lot of firsts for our band like um this project we're releasing is the first project we're putting out like with a label it's the first project that we got into like a professional studio for that we didn't just record in allison's basement so like a lot of cool like exciting things are happening um yeah i'm not sure what to say okay um awesome um what's the next song um we're gonna have to switch instruments so is it cool if we break here for a second yeah okay Heck yeah, the less talk. <laughs> you could fade out of his song into ours. Yeah. We're back with Sleepy Gonzalez after a quick energy. We are at Studio 6, and the next song is Water Body. Yeah. 
in a language that you don't speak and gives the servitude of a soldier we get drunk and foreign films when he's gone you've always got a little time to kill i let you fall asleep on my shoulder Took until your seventh glass of gin I drove you home again for the last time You swear he's a good guy Sleepwalking down the aisle I know they said it was impossible Dancing even though we're shy song on the album is about it's about Mario Kart cuz we just like to write about like just um just super like ordinary things and try to find like what makes them like compelling uh something fun something lighthearted something like cuz something to take a break from being sad but then it ends up just being just as sad as all the other songs so yeah, the last song is called Rainbow Road. across my face You will 
Thank you so much for coming. Um, do you guys have anything to say to the audience um, where they can find your band and when's your next album coming out? You can find us on all the good good platforms. Um, our album, we're planning uh, to release a couple singles first in August and then uh, it should be out in September. Do we have a specific date? I don't think we have anything locked down right now. I think the first the first single is going to be out in mid-August. Yeah, That's and there, there's going to be some vinyls of yeah. that, a, a short amount. That's a cool vinyls. thing about getting signed is that you get to do stuff that you wouldn't be able to afford otherwise, like put out like physical vinyls. So we're really excited about that. And we're, we're all into like painting. So like they were like, do you want us to send a bunch of blank vinyls? And then you can just paint whatever the heck you want on them and then sell them and I'm like that sounds like a dope idea that I didn't even know was possible I didn't even know that we were doing that so I'm pumped now <laughs> yeah we're gonna have a painting party oh yeah we're gonna hand paint all our vinyls it's gonna be super all of them. <laughs> first edition <laughs> limited edition shit 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're excited. All right, cool. Um, thank you so much again for coming. Thanks for having us. And yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Rock and roll. Woo! That's a wrap. That's yeah. it's wrap. crazy that we're playing in the room next to like Pitbull. <laughs> it's very, very big honor. That's how you know you made it.